everybody welcome to the channel diy tools uh i wanted to give you a quick review of this well i always say quick but it ends up being kind of long <laughs> this tack life unit uh that i ordered from amazon this is supposed to go up to 30 amps and five i'm sorry 30 volts and five amps and i've been testing it out uh and i really so far i really like it so some of the features that i really like um uh, I, I've got uh, a uh, output button that I really like this. So that allows you to set your voltage and your uh, max current and and make sure you got what you want and then click the output button. And I think that's a very valuable feature to have on these things. So if you're going to buy one, really consider that, uh, that option. The other thing I like that it has a ground um, uh, prong here. Uh, it came with these... Uh, uh, these wires, uh, banana clips on one end and alligator clips on the other. I've got it right now connected to my Aning uh, 8009 voltmeter. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I'll turn the light on on it. So this is uh, showing 15.2 millivolts right now, which is basically zero. Uh, and that's because I haven't hit this uh, output button. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. And now it shows exactly what you see here. So 6.999 versus the seven that you see on here. And we can go kind of a coarse uh, adjustment or click it to go to a fine adjustment. So I can go to, there you go, 801, 801. 8.02, 8.02. So uh, then click it again to go back to uh, course. One thing I noticed, obviously, we're not drawing any current right now, so uh, changing this shouldn't matter. But if you do set it to a zero, you'll see this start to act up because as much as this uh, voltmeter doesn't draw any current, it does draw a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in order to do the measurement. So when you set this to zero, this starts going haywire. So uh, you want that at at least a, um, you know, something maybe not a 0.1 necessarily, but you want it at, you know, let's say 0 0.004, <laughs> not zero, because uh, zero is basically shutting it off more or less. Uh, so again, uh, I, I really think that um, for your money, there's not a whole lot better that you can do here. Um, uh, on the back of the unit, you've got a standard power cord, a power switch, and a fan. I've been running this for a little while, and I put some load on it earlier and I still haven't seen uh, any uh, the fan come on and there's no heat at all on the unit. So that's a good sign. Um, so uh, let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, um, you've got a, a constant current uh, light, an output light, and a constant voltage light. So the constant current light uh, is when you set your um, current limit to whatever you're going to set it to, let's say 1.4, when your circuit reaches that 1.4 and goes over that 1.4, that constant current light will come on saying that I'm keeping the current constant for you. That's really what it means. You're always gonna have some sort of a current limit that you're gonna place on your circuit, which obviously I recommend you start very low and then you turn it up from there. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, wire in some fun. This is a vacuum motor that I took out of a vacuum that I'm no longer using. I'm gonna click the output button off. So, and then we're gonna go ahead and set this, uh, let's go ahead and set this low first and then set that low first, just so kind of get an idea of where we're gonna start this out. And I'm gonna set that there. And set that there. And we're going to go ahead and set, and th this, this motor is actually pretty powerful. So I've got a little clip, uh, uh, my, my clamp here, I'm going to tighten it down so it doesn't move around because otherwise it will gyrate all over the place. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I don't anticipate it coming on until I've got some about, so it's showing constant cur current. So it's drawing at least one amp, still not coming on. Right about here is when I expect it to come on. There it goes. So at about 13 volts and 1.9. So we can go from here, we can go up.
We got 24 volts, 25 volts, and three amps being drawn right now. Quite a bit of power on the, out of this motor. And I don't really know what the rating is. I don't want to turn it up any higher than this. But uh, you get the idea. It's, it's running the motor just fine. The fan on the unit still hasn't kicked on. Um, I ran it for a few minutes earlier and the fan didn't ever kick on. So and it, and it never exhibited any heat. I'm sure if I were to leave this on for a few hours or maybe even 20 minutes, it would start to heat up. But that's expected. You know, power supplies heat up. That's just what they do. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Uh, again, uh, for the price, I think it was, I, I don't quite want to say, I'll leave a link uh, to in the description. I don't quite remember how much I paid for it. So you can check it out in the description. Uh, and then I will also leave a link to this Aning uh, unit and to these, my favorite um, test prongs. Uh, th these are actually not from Amazon. These two are, uh, but uh, I'll leave you a link to all of these so you can check them out. It's a great product. I'm gonna use it to test out some car parts um, today. Uh, as you can see, my uh, car is parked in the back and uh, Hoods open, meaning I'm testing out a sensor and it requires 12 volts to turn it on. And it, you could rig up a few batteries to do that, but it's a little messy and you're you're never really sure. Uh, you know, I, I'd have to line up a lot of AA batteries or a nine volts and two AA's or whatever to get 12 volts. And I don't really want to use the car battery itself uh, uh, for uh, reasons having to do with the battery on that car being very sensitive to meddling with. And I really like the idea of having uh, just a constant power source so um, that I can that I can uh, contain. So like I can say how much current max to draw. That's another thing I can't do with the car battery is I can't say, hey, only draw a little bit of current. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, play with this little motor here for a second. So you see, it's the output is off because otherwise I would have just burnt it out at 29 volts, which is pretty good. And by the way, you can click this to go fine and click it again to go coarse. So we're going to go to them to three volts, um, and I'm going to leave the amps at. Well, let's let's go down on the amps as well because just want to be safe. So here it is. It's turned on. I put a piece of tape on there for you guys to see, and. Uh, So this is the kind of thing you can't just do with a with a battery pack, right? So it's just nice to have one of these uh, DC power supplies. And this little motor, <laughs> it's taken quite a bit of abuse today. I, I uh, put it through uh, some relatively high voltages. It doesn't have anything printed on it, so I couldn't tell you what the max voltage is. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're thinking of buying any of these units, I so far, uh, my experience with them is I highly recommend them for the price. I don't think you can do any better. I saw units out there for three, $400. And honestly, I'm going to be testing car parts at 12 volts and very little amps. Uh, so I'm not going to be drawing a ton of current, uh, most of the time. Uh, and mm, there's probably a better practice, but I always, uh, start out at, at like half an amp. Okay, and I, and I go to what I know my recommended voltage is supposed to be. And I'll, I'll do a quick test just to kind of see where I am. And then from there on, I'll, I'll try to vary the amps up, uh, never changing my max voltage uh, for, you, you know, typically you know what the voltage is for your motor. I actually don't know what it is for this. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure for this is actually three volts. Car parts, usually 12 volts, uh, that sort of thing. Obviously you gotta check each individual part to make sure. But that's how I use it. And and more expensive units wouldn't do anything different for what I need. Uh, and like I said, this was, a, a to me, a great value. Came uh, in, a, in a nice package. And uh, it is um, quite a good small profile, nine and a half inches by three inches by six inches. And uh, also came, the fact that it came with the, these, these wires, they're actually pretty decent quality. Um, 
even the the banana banana clips are pretty decent quality off switch output you know what else you need uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the description or in the, <laughs> in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing and clicking like and um, ask me any questions you have about these, um, either, of, either of these devices. I'm more than happy to come and check it out and let you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I, this is, this is going to be a keeper for me unless it, unless it ends up burning out in a couple of weeks or something like that. But I don't, I didn't see any reviews really that made me think that was going to happen. And most of the reviews seem pretty credible. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to help make your purchase decision and uh, see you on the next one.